Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm out on the Tiger 660 Sport. This is my own bike, so it's not a uh, review unit. I would love to love to be able to get to uh, move the channel to where I can start reviewing bikes. How cool would that be? Um, excuse the hair, I don't have my film crew here today, so <laughs> it's <laughs> it's fresh helmet hair, so uh, bear with me. Um, I just want to quickly give you guys a 600 mile um, ride review really. Um, I've been keeping the bike um, slow, I've been um, mostly using the bike to go to work and back so it's it's a uh, reading traffic, um, narrow, stop start and go and and uh, um, not not any really motorway miles. You know I did a few uh, motorway junctions so that's about what I would say about um, four miles on the motorway but that was probably about a handful of times but um, I gave the bike a wash yesterday the roads are fairly dry to, to, today um, it's still wet but it's there's some dry patches on it I just want to give you guys a, a, a first look around the bike just to show you um, where I think a few things might be needed to be uh, kept um, under control especially with corrosion and stuff and also then we're going to hop on the bike and go for a little for a little ride um, I want to um, uh, uh, put, use the screen on the lower setting and give you guys some feedback to see if we can pick it up on the mic and then also on the higher settings I think that's that's uh, that's that's gonna annoy a few people as well but just want to in general I want to give you guys a 600 mile uh, feedback about the bike it's it's um it's been really, um, it's been really great. You know, it's it's there's there's very little things that so far um, can annoy me. Um, I like to uh, uh, um, have a bike that has got very little annoyances compared to the annoyances that that uh, that's going to be a, a game changer. The other thing as well, I just want to give you some feedback about why I moved from my Tiger 900 GT Pro. Uh, down to the 660 so it's going to be a, a all-round video if you want to uh, see the stats of the bike um, the triumph website is perfect for that um, so uh, you know you can go and check all the stats and all the bits and bobs to your heart's content but it's not going to be a a stats review it's going to be my personal feedback about the first 600 miles on this on this bike but let me show you around the bike so this was washed yesterday and this is just from this morning's ride. But yeah man, I do, I really do like this uh, red color. Um, for me, the red and that uh, blue looks really, really well. Here you can see just a, like a spray kick up. Other thing that I did find, the f uh, front wheel kicks up a nice uh, line on the radiator here. So that is something that maybe a, a fender extender on the front, on the rear, might be a good idea to uh, keep um, muck away from the radiator. Um, other things that I, I can think, you know, uh, these little bolts and stuff, um, they, they're not super good quality. Um, I see these things as well started to put some um, little bit of corrosion on not not uh, major but I'm just pointing the stuff out um, so that's on the front indicators from um, uh, driving behind cars and stuff keeps very clean on the front not so much on the rear the front bolts they look all all good and from this side it is all fine on that side um, on the side here yeah, no real worries it's very clean so I'm very happy with that this um, nice uh, shiny I to say aluminium this gets scuffed up really quick I've got leather boots that is um, very uh, smooth as you can see it's pretty scuffed up already the exhaust sounds absolutely lovely for a stock exhaust, so I'm very happy with that. Um, the rear foot, foot, foot pegs, my daughter has been using them. Um, she is nine years old. She has been starting to ride with me and she's, uh, she can reach here, so uh, she's pretty happy with that. Um, 
again moving to the back this uh, rear uh, bolts both of them they are very corroded already so it's something that I keep keep an eye on um, I've got a ACF 50 spray that I basically cover after I've washed the bike I cover that sort of light inner cloth and then wipe the bike down on the front just to keep a a, a barrier between the the bike and all the all the crap on the road really but this is the same for the swing arm you can you can see it's uh, a bit of ACF 50 all over it or the GT GT was the GT 68 or something in that line um, now moving to the shock here you can see there's already a lot of sort of um, discoloring right there at the bottom and then also that bolt um, is also quite uh, a little bit of corrosion then you can see also the shock it's quite interesting um, there's a quite a big lip I don't know if I can show you but there's quite a big lip here and I was six I was I was just looking at this yesterday so if anyone's got some comments I was hoping that there will be a bigger ring at the bottom like a big washer to cover the whole of the spring um, yeah, that might be by design and um, for some reason as well the top of the um, rear fender gets really gunked up um, it's quite interesting and moving back that's all fine tires been really really good the chain um, the chain for me um, has been um, it's, it's been a bit of a struggle I don't know if this is like a like a, um, a very cheap chain but my 900 GT Pro didn't didn't have so much corrosion on its chain so uh, drop some comments below how you guys are finding your chains um, I did I put some um, lube on yesterday um, and then the other thing is um, drop some comments below what you use um, how do you lube your bike's chain that would be um, much appreciated um, I was thinking of getting a, a rear lift but if I can if I if I don't have to do that that would be awesome because I lift the wheel up and I get my daughter to spin the rear tire so I can uh, lube the rest of the chain so let me know about that the other other things you know again on this side that brush bit is a little bit scuffed up but the rest of the bike behind this little mini fairing stays really really clean and then as well this view is really really good everything stays very clean and then down to the side as well okay let's uh, hop on the bike and go for a little ride okay guys let's hop on the bike and uh, get some riding done Gonna lock that in place. Start the bike. Beautiful clutch in and off we go. Just wanna get the gloves on. Oh it's, it's nice and chilly this morning. It is uh, three degrees outside, but it's uh it really nice sun is out that's what i like i hope that is a good that is a good angle for you guys see the road and so forth there we go so um i just want to quickly um show you guys there's a little uh gear icon not a gear icon but a spanner icon that uh, that icon means that i am over the 600 mile service uh, indicator so if you uh, press the down button you can go through the menu you can see the trip the fuel status and then the so it shows you there service interval um, I need to get a service in the fourth month of 2023 and I'm um, minus 85 miles so I'm 85 miles over the 600 the, the 600 miles um, the screens brightness um, I keep it on that one that one so I can see the time what's actually happening okay well let's 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 go do i have everything i do film crew ready packed up let's go just to let you guys know 
the screen is on its lowest and uh, <coughs> we'll see how uh, clear it is for you guys to hear I don't have a purple panda mic but um, my mic is supposed to be uh, uh, not as sensitive so it should be it should be it should be good let's go down here so guys uh, ride review um, in short it's a very nice bike it's a uh, it's very easy to live with and this is for me currently um, the key as as much as um, I love uh, big big BM bikes and uh, the big 1200 uh, 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 c um, sort of CC CC bikes and and so forth um, I'm looking for a bike for the riding that I do that it um, that it's fun to ride and um, I can get out and uh, it's not going to cost me a fortune because the bike um, is very expensive monthly that's that was one of the reasons as well I uh, I, I changed from the from the 900 GT Pro as well is I was looking for something a little bit cheaper um, for on the monthlies on the PCP and uh, yeah so I got a good deal on this bike and I thought myself let's let's try it and uh, it's it was almost half the price compared to the uh, 900 GT Pro so I'm very happy with that that was the one uh, a, a factor of, of me uh, moving to a smaller to a smaller bike and um, the other thing is um, the comfort the comfort of this bike is I am 5 foot 11 um, I'm about a, uh, about a 70 78 kilogram rider with all my gear on currently and um, the the bike is whoops a daisy I need to go uh, a little bit slower than that I'm getting excited and the bike is really comfortable you know the seating position my back is nice and straight um, and my arms is bent and it it just uh, it just feels relaxed it's almost like I can really go uh, pretty far on this bike um, and and be comfortable get off on the other side and go in book into the hotel and uh, uh, have a nice beer and and carry on the next day and do another another day of riding um, the bike has got the 80 uh, brake horsepower it's not uh, 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 with eyeball tearing uh, performance um, especially if you are a bigger heavier rider um, but you know if you're looking for something that is fun to ride you know I'm, I'm now looking at the UK I'm I, I don't do motorway riding that much I do use the motorway to get to nice places if I want to get to it so you, you always have to get to do that um, if you can get a smaller bike that would be even better but uh, the smaller the engines on the motorway the less uh, fun it is to actually ride them so uh, yeah you want to you want to be able to go on the motorway and still have fun um, and and this thing has got more than enough power to uh, sit on the motorway without any issues absolutely no issues it just uh, smashes out the motorway whoa sure some really nice uh, glare on the road the eyes is not used to seeing the sun here in the UK um, but but yeah uh, it, you know getting getting back to the comfortable um, experience of riding this bike that is for me uh, absolutely key you know it's 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 the seat is is for me I would I would rate the seat about a two hour a two hour seat before my uh, my bum starts becoming a, a little bit uncomfortable um, the other thing is for me that was important and then that was also one of the reasons I, I I downgrade it if you want to call that um, because the GT Pro did have uh, all the bells and whistles so for me to downgrade was uh, was also to gain more agility um, so this bike is not uh, it's, it's way way lighter than the GT Pro or the 900 and um, 
it just it just makes it for me maneuvering it uh, in a day-to-day -day driving to the office um, and then on weekends it's so much more fun um, not not so much fun but it's so much easier so so much easier to actually move the bike about and uh, and uh, uh, just feel like the thing is not going to fall on you and actually you're going to damage something the other thing is because it's also uh, more agile lighter smaller it's slimmer as well and uh, again another factor for me it, for the downgrade was that I can actually then uh, use it more to, uh, to go to work and back because the uh, 900 was just um, too wide to do the filtering where I ride uh, it's it's very uh, 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 tight uh, uh, roads where there's uh, you know there's not a lot of gap between the cars and uh, with, a, with the bigger bikes that it becomes a pain sitting when it's raining and you have to just sit in the traffic you know you might as well just sit in the sit in the, sit in the car but again you know, this is um, this is I'm just basing this, this on my experience you know, if you do live in a place where where you have um, wide lanes that if you look in America and Canada and all the other pl pl places where you can filter and there's almost like a if the filtering lane is like a massive lane on the inside then then yes having a big bike makes sense if you've got uh, big motorway miles to cover on your route to your work then uh, uh, the bigger the bike with the bigger the fairings and everything it's all it's always better so it's not it's not um, it's not that I'm uh, saying that the uh, 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 bikes or the smaller bike is it's better I'm just saying for my riding this is what I wanted to achieve with this uh, downgrade uh, from the bigger bikes the engine man is is I had a uh, I had the um, triumphs uh, 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 the street triple the uh, seven seven six eight seven six five or whatever um, not the RS just the standard one and this engine sounds exactly the same and it's the same as the Trident. The engine has got that uh, typical uh, Triumph sound, and it's absolutely beautiful. This engine is so smooth. I was a, I was a little bit worried in the beginning when I got the bike. I thought myself, whoa, this uh, everything feels a little bit rough compared to the Tiger, uh, the the 900. But then again, the 900 had a, had about 300 miles on um, when when I got it, so it had a bit of um, it had a bit of exercise on everything but this uh, this bike is now smoothing up so nicely after about 400 miles everything has become really smooth the gearbox has become way smoother the engine just revs free more freely and whatever and it hasn't had the service yet so I'm very happy with uh, with how the bike is uh, loosened up and whatever um, it's it just it's just and it, Listen, guys. It, it it really sounds like a like a large bike, um, and sometimes you know that's that's you know, it's, it's not like you're driving or riding a uh, a a super downgraded bike, single cylinder from uh, from uh, China. Um, you know, it's a it feels like a like a like a proper bike, even in this state. And and the thing is, you. You get this. Um, you don't get that this that much with smaller bikes because they're always uh, or, or cheap or cheaper bikes. So super happy with that. You know, it's just it just for me is absolutely um, really really nice bike and engine. You can you can open it up here a little bit here in the front. So I keep to the speed limit here. I don't know when they uh, when there's some. Uh, the speed band here drop it down the gearbox this is a cable uh, clutch as well so it's not hydraulic for me it's super super smooth um, yeah the handlebars is really nice width and whatever so let's give it some gas Again, this is this is what I wanted to say about this bike. You can have so much fun on the UK roads with this bike. 
you can have so much fun. You know, it's not about you know having a uh, Hyundai K twelve hundred uh, um, um, S massive rocket ship, beautiful bike. But I struggle to find place where I can really give the guy the bike some beans. And uh, with this thing, because you don't have all that power, you actually have more usable power, more friendly power. Um, so you can you can cruise to work and back. And then on the weekends, if you want to get out when the roads are dry and you uh, and you want to go and uh, have some fun in the twisties in the back on the back roads, this this thing is perfect for that. Absolutely perfect. You know, you can have so much so much fun because it's usable power. Now I also uh, went for the um, heated grips and the hand guards, as you guys can see. Um, for me in the UK, if you're going to use the bike um, straight through uh, winter or most of the winter, I don't ride when it's snow or it's when it's minus four or something in that line. But if you want to use that, that's the two upgrades that that I would rec that I would recommend is heated grips and hand guards. I'm just going to lift the screen up. So that's how you adjust the screen. So now the screen is on its highest, and. Uh, uh, moving on from um, the screen and so forth and the agility of the bike and the engine and so forth this is this is probably one thing that that would um, that was that would um, annoy annoy some people is um, there is some noise on the screen um, when you're riding so on the lower setting Um, the hey, look at the cat. Um, it's gonna it's gonna hit you just on the on the on the on the bottom part of your helmet, and on the top at high speeds, um, it it is really uh, noisy for some bizarre reason. But it gives you a lot of protection. So um, there will probably be some aftermarket um, fitments that you can attach. To sort that out so that's that's sort of the one thing that is uh, something to uh, to bear in mind that uh, when the screen is on its lowest it really gives you clean airflow um, but then you're gonna you're gonna get this uh, if you're a little bit taller than me it's gonna it's gonna hit you just on the neck especially if it's cold in the mornings that's uh, it's like almost like a razor cutting into your neck this for the cold chilly air just um, over your neck but yeah on the higher setting it sort of um, kicks over my head and it's uh, and it's really nice to have your uh, 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 screen open then of your helmet uh, and and it gives you a lot of protection on your shoulders and so forth so very happy with the adjustability of the screen just I think it's uh, going to annoy a few people because it's it, it, it can be quite a lot of buffeting uh, the mirrors you know every bike magazine this is one of the things that they uh, that they refer to the the rear view mirrors how good they are you know these mirrors are big enough they use they don't vibrate um, and they are um, super clear big enough easy to adjust and uh, yeah can't complain I uh, I use them a lot, and uh, it's nice to be able to to see uh, sort of on the over over your uh, just underneath your shoulders, so it's a clear view of the rear the rear of the um, the rear of the bike. So that's the that's the um, rear of the thing, the seat I've covered, uh, mileage on the bike, fuel. So I get about 150 to 155 miles on a tank then the light comes on the reserve light comes on and then it gives me another it says about 35 miles um, and that's that's pretty much consistent so I was hoping to uh, get at least 200 miles on the bike but hey 150 miles that is a that is a good distance to ride um, and then have a bit of a break so happy with the mileage fill up the bike it's not that expensive it's a nice uh, nice nice tank size so happy with that um, the 
uh, control panel, meaning the uh, controlling what you want to see on the screen or whatever. It's uh, it's really easy. Again, as I said in many of my other videos, you know when you get a new bike, um, it's going to have a bit of uh, a learning curve. But as soon as you get used to it, that is, uh, you just get used to it and it becomes easy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I've had no, uh, I've had no issues with, uh, with uh, adjusting anything. You know, it's got the settings, I've, I've got the speed settings. I don't know why I keep on changing the gears, like uh, on something I'm used to. But I, I don't know if you guys can hear that it's, uh, it's fairly noisy. Beautiful. Now the engine really revs so nicely and smooth that it's uh, that's absolutely brilliant. But yeah, the, uh, just getting back to the instrument cluster, it really works well. Indicators, it's got this uh, auto indicator as well. That's quite an interesting thing that you uh, you have to uh, press and hold it to the one side for a few seconds, then then it actually starts the indication, um, and then you can have a small little dip, a small clip to the one side or to the left or right side, and then it does uh, three blinks. Um, I've, I've switched that off because there was uh, thought that the indicator was broken, but that's that's how that works after I've read the manual. So I understand your side of the, of the road, lady. Um, so yeah, everything the menu, so stopping in the menu, changing the uh, rider modes, the rain and, and 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 road or sport or whatever. That's that's easy. Um, starting the bike, that's that's again no no issue at all. But absolutely. Uh, uh, really, really, really enjoying the simplicity of it. So um, I had, I had a problem with the heater grips when I got the bike. Um, the firmware didn't, um, the firmware wasn't there because there was an, a problem with the firmware that the heater grips doesn't want to work. So um, I took the bike in, they uh, updated the firmware on the on the bike, and now the heater grips works perfect. No issues there at all. Happy, happy with that as well. That guy runs like a legend. So I go down here, yeah. and this is what I really enjoy about this bike. The you know having that that agility to go go to these small little roads and explore the countryside. I use this app called Kali Kali Moto, um, and I plot a route, or they it plots a route for me, and it takes me down all these little uh, small little roads. Um, country lanes, small little towns that I would never go to um, if I'm on a, if I just ride because I never, uh, you know, you follow the route where, where you usually know where to go to and um, you really get some nice places. So covering the suspension when um, doing the country roads, um, it can be quite harsh sometimes, especially if the road becomes really, really bad. Um, on the smooth motorway sections, uh, there's absolutely no issue. But um, as soon as the, it becomes like really bumpy, especially like this stuff, um, like backpack roads, where it's single lane road really, and it and the road is really bumpy, it can be quite harsh. Um, but I'm also quite a light rider. Now this is where the 900 GT Pro with the um, adjustable suspension, you can just put it in onto comfort and it just really makes the whole ride much more comfortable uh, it's a, just a different level but yeah the bike is also more expensive um, have that stuff in so that covers the suspension the engine um, I showed you around the bike about the how, how it's been holding up in the in the UK winter weather um, you know further furthermore I've had not had any issues with uh, with anything on the bike there's 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 nothing that that sort of annoys me further um, I'll just put this down push forward push it down now that's on this lower setting I actually enjoy riding it I have been riding it with um, on the lowest three clips up and uh, that sort of gives me the best uh, protection uh, slash uh, uh, wind noise that I've got uh, 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 still wind on my helmet um, and it pushes me back compared to the amount of noise. 
so that's that uh, happy with the tires it's got this uh, uh, what I think it's the road 5 if I'm wrong I'll, I'll put it somewhere here what what tires the bike is but you can also check on the website what tires the bike has got on but it's really nice wide tires it makes again makes it fits with the bike sometimes the smaller bikes now if I look at the like the the 310 BM, BMW with the skinny tires it just makes the bike look um, like a tiny bike where this is a small bike but it's got a little I think a 180 tire at the back it's a really nice and beefy tire I would listen I would love to take this bike around a track I just think that will be absolutely so much fun to just open it up and, and just use all that power and rather focus on uh, on your riding skill compared to having all this massive amount of power listen but guys I might be totally wrong you know, and and everyone buys a bike for a for a different uh, reason but uh, where I am at the moment um, I I want to really uh, firstly I want to really get my daughter into motorbiking and and the bigger bikes is uh, just a little bit of a handful um, for me so I want to feel comfortable on the on the bike and it need to be easy for 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 me to navigate to work with the bike see nice and nice and nimble compared to having something that is uh, super heavy and it's a just it's just a handful having to try and focus on keeping a pillion uh, happy at the back and then also uh, and also to uh, 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 try and give them a good experience so I always say if uh, if you if you take a new rider on the back and you give them a good experience on the back of a bike uh, not going too fast and uh, you know especially if they if they are a bit weary of motorbikes and so forth if you give them a uh, if you give them a good experience then uh, they will keep that experience and want to go again so uh, and that's what I did with my daughter just keep keep the keep it slow keep it smooth and uh, it's it's she's now super keen to get riding more and more so very happy with that uh, you see look at this weather absolutely beautiful sun is out I'm so glad I can actually bring you guys along on this ride where uh, the sun is out and um, it's so nice oh one last thing now you see yeah the road is like whoa it's covered in a thin layer of mud now uh, again this is sort of where the where this bike is more uh, road orientated uh, compared to the other bikes where they're a little bit more uh, uh, trail orientated I wouldn't say fully off-road you know yes you can take your 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 850 or 900 GT Pro Tiger off-road um, but uh, I wish they would take this engine and make it into a more of a more of a Tiger um, this this bike I would say um, com com competes more to the BMW XR uh, range um, I think the BMW is going 900 XR beautiful beautiful bike but it's uh, but it's a little bit more money than this and it doesn't sound as good the BMW bike bike the especially the 900 just doesn't sound as good as this bike that's sort of another thing you know listening to this exhaust it's, it's just absolutely a beautiful sound beautiful sound compared to uh, compared to the BMW I'm a BMW or a uh, a triumph, a triumph, triumph guy at the moment. Um, so yeah, you, you know, you always, uh, you always, uh, you don't, you don't buy a, buy a bike uh, just for the specs. You buy it for the look and how it sounds and how it feels and how it rides. Uh, the, the days for me of having a sport bike where it's uh, super uncomfortable on your wrists and stuff that's uh, gone I want to uh, actually enjoy my ride <laughs> it's just uh, it's really nice fun really nice fun but yeah guys um, now this is pretty much my uh, 
my thoughts about the bike in the first 600 mile service oh another thing that i want to mention this thing has got this uh, plastic here at the bottom of the tank where you sit against the tank so you don't scuff up the tank um, it's such a small little detail that will keep the bike's tank um, keep the tank uh, away from your uh, belt and your clothes and the scuff marks or whatever such a good idea such a good idea small little details oh no some water so guys um, I hope this covers everything if there's any more questions about the bike uh, please uh, drop it in the comments below if you did like the video please give it a thumbs up um, if you've got a tiger or you're looking at a tiger or you've got a triumph or you anyone that's looking at the video please drop a, a, a hi down below in the comments say hi say where you're from uh, say what you ride it would be awesome to uh, to uh, find out what you ride and why you were looking at the video it's uh, it's it's for me I, I try to respond to everyone that drops a comment in it also helps the helps the channel out um, to keep it to keep it growing I'm also looking at a Honda Grom um, I'm busy uh, saving some money to have a little fun bike as well so uh, uh, subscribe to see if I if I if I do eventually get get this little Honda Grom but yeah guys if there's any questions about the, the Tiger 660 or even on my 900 GT Pro that I had um, all the Tigers uh, 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 street triple I had please drop it in the comments below and I'll try and answer your questions um, I'll keep on um, the bike is going in for a service the 24th so I'll try and uh, uh, give you my experiences after the service has been done because they, they they do say when they change the oil it uh, it does make quite a big difference in the in the ride whoa morning and see that often girl on rollerblades on a uh, crappy roads okay guys thanks for watching I hope you've got a beautiful day and a great week and I'll speak to you soon thanks and see you later cheers